Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be talking about QuickBooks Solopreneur as it is replacing QuickBooks Self-Employed. So this is relatively new news in the overall small business accounting world. And I figured today I would do a general overview of the new QuickBooks Solopreneur plan, what it looks like and how it replaces QuickBooks Self-Employed and who is QuickBooks Solopreneur for in the first place, right? Who is is this new accounting plan from Intuit QuickBooks built for, designed for, and what does it come with? What is the pricing, features, and general overview of this new offering from Intuit QuickBooks looks like? That's what we're going to be diving into here in today's video. Of course, if you do want to follow along or you do decide that you want to go with QuickBooks, of course, you can go check out that first link down below in the description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash QuickBooks. We'll take you right over to QuickBooks where you can decide what plan you want to go with and get signed up with QuickBooks, of course, some of which are affiliate links down below in the description, which is a great way to help out and support the channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this overview video of QuickBooks Solopreneur. So breaking the news, of course, this is relatively new news in the uh, small business accounting world and Intuit even announced it here on their press release page giving you a, hey, this is now happening. Now, I get for a lot of you guys who may be coming across this video, you're maybe searching for QuickBooks Self-Employed and you're like, where is it? right? Where is QuickBooks self-employed? You come over here to the QuickBooks website. You're like, Hey, I'm uh, at the business stage of self-employed. You click here and you're like, well, where is QuickBooks self-employed? Where, where, where is the plan? What, do, where did it go? So essentially they have replaced QuickBooks self-employed with this new plan called QuickBooks Solopreneur. It is a completely different business offering. I'm going to be reading into the specifics in just a moment and helping explain it as well is where it fits within their overall product and how does it compare to maybe some of the other QuickBooks plans that I've covered here on the channel before, such as their regular small business plans and where and who it might make best, the most sense for ultimately as a small business accounting software, or even as a freelancer accounting software, or basically anybody who is quote unquote self-employed and earns, whether it be 1099 income, I'll get into that in a little bit, just how that breaks down. But essentially, and now QuickBooks self-employed has become the self-employed accounting software, QuickBooks Solopreneur. Again, that's the main focus of this video here today. So going over their press release here, as you can see, it is relatively recent. And depending on when you're watching this video, maybe this has already been out for a minute. Um, but just to explain exactly what QuickBooks Solopreneur is, it is essentially a new product offering. So they figured that because of some changes that they are making, they figured they would rather take it into a more focused approach on servicing business owners who are a single employee, right? You're just a solopreneur, a solo entrepreneur. That's sort of their status here. And as you can see here, I'm not gonna be reading into all the details here. I'll leave a link to this page in the description if you want to check it out. Um, but essentially, in terms of managing your books, you can manage your books, separate out personal and business transactions, very similar to how the self-employed uh, plan worked. But now with the solopreneur plan, again, it is focused more on people who have a sort of a side business or maybe they are um, doing Uber or Lyft. I did see on Reddit, some people mentioned that. It's like, yes, this is exactly who it is built for. Essentially, anybody who maybe is in the sort of gig economy type of thing, freelancing, uh, anything where you're maybe earning a 1099 income or income that isn't uh, directly paid out from an employer such as a W-2 based income. Uh, so that's what Solopreneur is built for. Anyone doing any other type of um, sort of gig or side, basically, you know, income that is not from a traditional employer, anything that you get in as a 1099 income or uh, depending on how that may be, it might even be just uh, checks or cash or however you earn uh, money in your business, uh, ultimately in order to track and then report that, uh, this can help you keep track of your overall um, profit and loss statements, your income and expenses, so that you can maximize your deductions when it comes tax time. Uh, and of course, Intuit is very uh, financially incentivized to promote their TurboTax software uh, as well along with this platform. Because again, it, it, it sort of funnels people into that basis of it's like, hey, if you are earning an income 
from 1099 income, then you know you need to make sure that you can track your overall deductions uh, and maximize those deductions to save money on your taxes. That's ultimately the main driver here uh, for people to even use QuickBooks Solopreneur, of course, and just keeping better financial records, seeing how much money you're actually earning and expending inside your business, even if it is uh, just as a one-person business. So as you can see here, you can easily view your income, expenses, and profit uh, within the reports and dashboards. So this is great for people, you know, to help make smarter business decisions uh, and achieve goals. As you can see, you can stay tax ready year round. You can auto track your miles on the go with the QuickBooks mobile app as well. Uh, so you can track business trips as well as business expenses. Uh, so this can make it a lot easier for you uh, to then migrate things over to TurboTax when it comes tax time. Uh, and you can just be ahead of the curve there to know how much you approximately are going to owe. Uh, you can keep track of how much you're business has made overall your income and expenses and just managing uh, your overall bookkeeping uh, setup. In addition to that as well, uh, in addition to just keeping track of your books, of course, uh, you can also, you know, get a clear view of where your business is at. So showing you the QuickBooks Solopreneur page here, uh, as you can see, you can track your overall income. Uh, within your business and see how it's going over time. As you can see, you can track your profit and loss, your income and your expenses, and see where your business is at on a month-to-month -month basis. And you can categorize those transactions out, whether it be meals, you know, or or utility bills or software subscriptions, whatever the expenses are, or even mileage deductions as well. Uh, no matter what your expenses look like in your business, uh, depending on the nature of your business. This is how you can help keep track of it so that when it does come tax time, you are not behind the curve and not even just for taxes, but also just keeping a better view of how much money you're making or losing in your business on a month to month basis can be extremely helpful to make better decisions. Hey, where is most of your income coming from? Where's most of your expenses coming from? That way you can maybe cut some expenses that are sort of unnecessary, things like that, and just better financial management within your business, of course. Uh, if you're interested in accounting software, of course, you would most likely already know this, um, but this is just what this software helps you do uh, in terms of managing things. In addition to that as well, they do also offer invoicing. So you can uh, invoice customers. You can do your uh, mileage deductions as well automatically. So you can set up auto trip tracking. You can see your overall net profit per month. So income and expenses on a monthly basis and just seeing where you stand with your overall deductions, whether it be home office, vehicle, uh, no matter what it, it may look like. Now, again, there are certain, you know, tax ramifications as to what you can actually claim. But as long as you're keeping track of everything, you know, that is just one step further to getting an overall view of your financial picture. Uh, so as you can see here, um, in terms of what it looks like, you know, how I run my business without QuickBooks, uh, you know, things like that are, you know, it makes it easy just to see everything. Now, in terms of the pricing, of course, this pricing is always subject to change. I have to say that in every single video. So be sure to check out the pricing page to get the most realistic and up-to-date pricing. Because when you're watching this video, the pricing may be different by that time. But currently, and I will say generally speaking, it is going to be cheaper than the other higher level QuickBooks plans. I'll be getting into how it sort of compares a little bit. I do have a completely separate video going more into uh, QuickBooks self-employed versus QuickBooks, you know, regular QuickBooks online, uh, because there are a lot of other things that are worth diving into. If you want to check out that video, of course, just, you know, go through my channel. QuickBooks Self-Employed versus QuickBooks Online. Very similar, because essentially QuickBooks Solopreneur is more or less very similar to what QuickBooks Self-Employed was. The software is slightly different in terms of how it works, uh, in terms of you know how you're able to navigate around the software, but essentially it is more or less the same type of thing. They're sort of just rebranding it uh, and adjusting some of its functionality. Now, in terms of what you can still do with the QuickBooks Solopreneur, which is the new plan and what they are currently selling, again, because they have migrated things over, uh, it is you know the ability to get organized as a solopreneur. So you get to track profitability, separate business and personal expenses. Again, a lot of the things that they did have with QuickBooks Self-Employed are carried over into here with QuickBooks Solopreneur. Uh, you're able to customize uh, estimates and invoices, accept payments, you can get 
tax help if you need that. Uh, they do also offer the QuickBooks Money uh, setup, which is free, and they just sort of lump that in here. Uh, QuickBooks Money is sort of a separate product that they do lump into QuickBooks Solopreneur uh, as well. You just have to enable it if you want it, which is the ability to open a business bank account through them, um, you know, earning potential uh, interest on there, and then you can track your sales and sales tax as well. Uh, set and track growth goals and automatic mileage tracking. So each of these features are sort of lumped in, uh, you know, within the product. Now, as you can see here right now, they do have a three month promotion at 50% off. Uh, you could try it free for 30 days as well. Again, this is just currently what the offer looks like as the time of recording this video. Uh, or they also have an annual uh, deal as well. So you're able to save a bit of money on that uh, first year. So that's another option there overall. So you have the monthly versus the annual. Uh, so overall, the monthly cost is still only you know ten dollars cheaper currently uh, than the regular uh, QuickBooks Online. Now QuickBooks Online gives you a lot more of a full suite accounting software with cash flow tracking and a lot more reports and detailed analytics. Um, with even in the simple start, it is just a little bit more money. Uh, and so it, it might make sense for you to upgrade to something like QuickBooks Online. And you can always do that in the future if you do want to make that migration. Or you could just do it from the get-go. Again, if you want to learn more about the comparisons, I do have a whole separate video going more into that. But essentially, it's a little bit more advanced. You have the ability to add payroll. Uh, and it's just a bit more built for people, whether you are a small business owner planning to grow and scale, maybe hiring employees, or you know if you're trying to get maybe some more detailed analytics and reporting, which isn't necessary for everybody who's just a, you know, someone who has self-employed income uh, and needs to keep track of things. That's not really who the regular QuickBooks Online crowd is for. Again, the more basic crowd, not to, you know, is more so in line with QuickBooks Solopreneur. Although I get that some people that even are just self-employed as one person in their business still might prefer QuickBooks Online just because of the more detailed analytics and reports dashboard that they have within QuickBooks Online. Uh, again, it is a completely separate software. So I did just wanna make that quick comparison uh, in this video here as well, just so you get the full picture of the differences between the software and why one exists over the other as well. Again, if you want more detailed analytics analytics and reporting, regular QuickBooks Online is more for you, even if you are still just a, you know, solopreneur. That's what I personally do. I still, I personally use QuickBooks um, Simple Start within the regular QuickBooks Online for the more detailed analytics and reporting within the business. For me, I just find that to be very valuable. But for most people who want to save even just a little bit of money, I get it's you know, $10 a month cheaper uh, for a plan like QuickBooks Solopreneur. Again, if you don't need the extra additional, um, you know, accounting based features, if you just wanna keep things simple, separating out, personal or business expenses and tracking them in here, uh, it could make sense just to keep things simple within QuickBooks Solopreneur. Now, QuickBooks Solopreneur is still fairly basic, but it does still automatically link up your transactions. You can make sure everything is tracked for tax time. Uh, and again, separating them out personal or business. It is very nice for the average person who is just looking to uh, keep track of things again for when it comes tax time you know, separating out uh, those business and personal expenses. And still, they do have some simple reports and dashboards. Again, it's not as complex and as much of an advanced feature set. So for some people, if you want the more advanced reporting and feature set, hey, maybe the regular, you know, QuickBooks Online is better for you. That's what I personally use. Um, but it is just, it, and again, it is only slightly more expensive, but if you do want to cut expenses as much as possible and still use a robust platform like QuickBooks, then QuickBooks Solopreneur could make sense for you in that scenario. Again, it is still, um, you know, it is still a little bit cheaper. So not by that much though, honestly, like the feature set, that's just my opinion. But overall, QuickBooks Solopreneur can still be a great option. Again, if you don't necessarily care about some of the more advanced features, uh, and you can always try either of the platforms out and see which one you like. If this one gets your needs uh, satisfied, then 
you know, feel free to just go with the QuickBooks Solopreneur. Again, it is a new plan, so I figured I would make this video here today uh, covering the general basics and overview of this new plan within QuickBooks. Again, QuickBooks Solopreneur. I'll leave a link to this press release as well if you do want to read some more details, as well as the link to, of course, QuickBooks at that first link down below in the description. Again, that is brandonvaleski.com forward slash QuickBooks if you do want to get signed up with QuickBooks. Again, some of which are affiliate links in the description, which is a great way to help out and support the channel. If you guys found this QuickBooks Solopreneur overview video helpful then be sure to smash that like button hit the subscribe button as well and notification bell so you're notified whenever i upload a new video anyway guys that was all for today's video and i'll see you in the next one peace out